Uh, hoy ahoy crew. Let's go over my damage calculator. So we'll go over the attack calculator first. Uh, there's a bunch of parts to this, but we'll try to go through it in a efficient manner. Um, so to use it, there's build A and build B. Enter your base level, enter your strength, dex, and luck. These all affect your status attack. Uh, and then you scroll down. You can enter your weapon type. This matters for size penalties and stuff. Base weapon attack, which is written on your weapon. Weapon refinement, weapon level, um, all found on your weapon. Uh, bonus weapon attack comes from buffs like pyroclastic or every one refine of your shadow weapon gives you one weapon attack. Um, equipment attack, you can just get this straight from your battle stats. It's easy peasy. Um, buff attack, this comes from like cart boost, Odin's power, spirit spheres, specific skills that add attack go here. Uh, pseudo buff attack, this is special effects like ice pick. Um, you don't have to worry about ice pick though. There's a option to just turn it on over here. Way easier, don't have to do anything for it. Um, but if you have other special effects that you know about that you can add here and do whatever, it's there to use. Uh, mastery attack, this is for like axe mastery, katar mastery, sword mastery, all of those. That attack gets added here. Ammunition attack. This is your arrows, cannonballs, bullets, anything you use for your skills attack. Now we have de uh, attack modifiers. Race percent, size percent, target property percent, monster percent, attack percent, and advanced Qatar mastery percent. Um, the size percents are separated because they're separated on the display. So you can better compare um, size penalties for weapons and stuff. Uh, target property is like damage against neutral monsters or damage against wind monsters. Monster percent is basically irrelevant. It's like orc, kobold, golem, things that you don't really get damage to anymore, but it's there in case you need it for whatever reason. Uh, attack percent. This is your attack percent. Um, it's also written as class percent in battle stats. Uh, add if you're attacking a boss monster, add your boss percent to your attack percent. Because they're the same modifier, it's just boss percent only applies to bosses. Uh, advanced Qatar Mastery percent. This is, you only put this here if you're using a Qatar weapon. Uh, next is the skill. Um, you can choose your skill here. There's a drop down list. You can also type it out, uh, like type out the skill name. Um, if we go to my Discord and you scroll down to the very bottom of the left hand side, you can find Damage Calculator. If you scroll up uh, past wherever the uh, link for the calculator is, where you can download it, it shows you a list of the skills that are currently implemented. So you can see for like Sura, Tiger Cannon Combo is the only skill it has. Nothing else is there. Uh, you can choose your skill level. Make sure you always choose the correct skill level because there's no cap or warnings. So if you enter like 999, the skill will think it's 999. It'll scale all the way up there. So it, it'll give you the wrong number. So make sure that's correct. Skill formula percent. This is the calculations. It's the final attack percent or magic attack percent of your skill. Um... After, like, the damage from base levels is added, the damage from stats and all that crazy stuff. Uh, and then there's damage modifiers, which is, like, your skill damage percent, your range percent, your melee percent, damage modifier percent, which is falcon eyes, overthrust, provoke, special effects from skills, basically. Uh, enemies defense, critical damage. Uh, don't include the base 40%. That's a separate modifier. Um, and this is automatically halved for skills, so just enter your regular crit damage. Uh, final damage modifier, which is like Dark Claw, Raid, Comet, any of those. Uh, defense Pierce Percent as well. Uh, then we go to Attack Property. You choose the property of your attack, the property of the enemy, and the property level of the enemy. Uh, and then you can ch it displays your damage here in small, medium, and large. And you can choose between 
average, maximum, and critical damage, uh, depending on whatever your needs are. Now, some skills will say uh, this skill's damage increases based on your strength and int, like Soul Destroyer. So if we uh, scroll to the side, there's extra options here. So Soul Destroyer gets bonus damage from strength, so we'll add strength. It also gets it from int, so we'll add int. Uh, didn't display down there. All right, the way it's written, it won't show that. But um, should I, if I add uh, this here, there we go. So it adds all the percent here. So now we can see the percentage. Uh, and if we scroll down from those, we can see the enemy's base level uh, and the enemy's vit. This is for the soft defense, which is like a flat reduction on your damage. Um, and then there's special effects like no size penalty. Uh, if you're mounted on a Peko Peko or Griffin, uh, Ice Pick, Magnum Break. Magnum Break is bugged at the moment, so probably don't use it. it it's somewhat accurate, but sometimes it's not quite accurate. Um, I'll fix it at some point. I, I just have to work through it and figure out how exa exactly the bonus is applied. Uh, spin Counters for Rolling Cutter Skill or Cross Ripper Slasher. Uh, status Increase like Warm Wind, EDP, Enchant Deadly Poison, uh, and Moon Slasher. And then Status Decrease, which there isn't anything for yet, but the work in progress. Uh, and that's it for the Attack Calculator. Hopefully that was a good enough explanation to get you started. Uh, magic Attack is basically the same. Uh, it has a second slot for the weapon because ninjas can wear a second weapon and all of the magic attack from that is added into your magic attack so like or your magical attack so the, there's a second slot for the magic or ninjas weapons magic attack percent is applied here mystical amplification only apply it if you're using mystical amp uh, same thing you can choose your skills here as a drop down list you can find it in the discord um, and then the damage modifiers, like small, medium, large, size percent, uh, race percent, target property percent, monster percent. Boss magic attack percent is separate from the regular magic attack percent. Um, there's skill modifier percent, property increase percent, which is like increase all property magic damage that goes here as well. Or increase fire property magic damage goes here as well. Whatever applies to your skill. Uh, enemy magic defense. Final damage modifier. Which is like comet. Uh, and magic defense pierce. And then you have the same thing as the physical calculator. You choose your property of attack. Property of enemy. Level of, uh, level of the property of the enemy. Average damage against enemies. And the maximum damage against enemies. Same thing on the right side. You can see all the modifiers here. There's a bunch of special effects, decreases, increases, all that jazz. Now, we have a more calculators page, which has a bunch of extra useful calculators. So there's a pet taming, which you enter the taming chance that's written on the taming item. Uh, enter the monster's current HP percent, and you get the chance. Uh, how much after cast delay do you need? Enter your cast delay, uh, four let's say four seconds. Uh, let's say we have... Uh, one second of cooldown, we need 75% after cast delay. So if we have 4% cast delay, we get 75... Sorry. If we have 4 seconds of cast delay, we get 75% after cast delay. We now have 1 second of cast delay at the end. So there's 1 second of cast delay every time we cast our skill. Done. Attack speed calculator which is uh, you choose a class, your weapon, offhand weapon, yes or no for the shield, your agi, dex, attack speed percent, attack speed potion, which is concentration, awakening, berserk, um, settler mind juice, which uh, you can turn on or off, yes or no, uh, and then flat attack speed. And then there's all the skills that add attack speed with special modifiers and stuff. Um, those also are all here. Uh, then we have the HP calculator. Enter your class, 
enter transcendent or not. Enter your flat HP, HP percent, vitality, same with the SP stuff. Enter all that, it gives you 99.9% .9 value. Sometimes it's off by one or two, but it's almost always directly accurate. Only works at level 200 though. Anything, anything below that, it'll be inaccurate. Uh, variable cast time, enter your variable cast time, enter your int dex variable cast time percent. It gives you your exact cast time left as well as your total percentage. Uh, there's also a fixed cast time. You do the same thing. It only gives you the seconds because there's no percentage for fixed cast. Uh, critical rate calculator. Enter your base level, your luck, your critical rate. Yes or no if it's a Qatar. Yes or no if it's a halved critical rate skill. And then the enemy's luck. There's also skills per second calculator, which you enter your cooldown manually. And then it takes your cast delay from here. Up, uh, that calculator, your variable cast time in seconds, uh, and the fixed cast time in seconds. And it gives you how many per second you get. Uh, there's nothing for animation delays and all that, because it's that would be a nightmare to log and make it all work properly and test. Um, so that's not there. This is all no animation considering. All right, next we have the job stat bonuses. Which you can enter like, uh, um, oh my god, Warlock. It gives us our stat, uh, job stat bonus at job level 9. We can say 25. Bam, gives us our stats. This works all the way up to 60 for the main classes. And then it jumps to 70. Um, uh, there's nothing in between 60, like 61 to 69. Nothing changes in there because um, there's no info on where the bonuses are given. So I would have to actually test each class to get those values. So for now, they, you jump from right from 60 to 70. Um, Soul Reaper and Star Emperor are 65 only. There's nothing below that because there's no info on how their jobs scale. Uh, and that's it for that. Next is the skill information. Um, this is incomplete. I'll, I'll show it off just so it's in the video for when it works in the future. But you enter a skill, let's say Soul Destroyer, skill level 10. It gives us our SP, our cast times, cast delay, and cooldown. Uh, it, this only works for like GX and Shadow Chaser skills at the moment. Uh, I'll add more stuff in the future, as as well as like the non DPS skills. Um, and that's it. That's the that's the calculator. Uh, it gets I update it o over time, as uh, whenever I can. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, you can PM me in Discord, ping me in my Discord, ask in the calculator chats wherever you want. Um, Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.